Uh, in this part I will show you how to configure Grafana together with Kapua so that it uses Grafana uses data that is collected by Kapua in Elasticsearch data store and displays this data as a metric data from that data store. So first of all you have to create a or use existing user in Grafana. I created this city user uh, manually in Grafana and I will log in now with it. Okay, this is his home dashboard already created before that. Uh, and I'll just show you the basic things about this user. This user has a full privileges as a administrator so he can uh, manage Grafana, he can create data sources, he can create um, dashboards and so on. So pretty basic uh, and, uh, functionality of Grafana. Uh, well, we also see this user is an organization, main organization, which is the main Grafana uh, installation organization. Um, well, what's important here is to connect to a data source. Data source in case of Grafana and connected to uh, Kapua is Elasticsearch. So we have here Elasticsearch connector database to, to a data store. So basic configuration of uh, Elastic where it listens, uh, credentials if you have those for login. And what's important in our case is the way indexes are stored in Kapua. Indexes in Kapua are weekly based indexes. And as we see here, it's a really strange name based on the ID of a Kapua account. Then it's a year and a week. And then we have a custom time field. Uh, it could be timestamp, but in this case, it's one of the metric time fields. It's captured on. And this is the data source that we use to show the metric data from a Kapua. This data source, we see it's whether Ljubljana Elasticsearch is then used in the dashboards. To so this dashboard that I show you. And we take, let's say, this graph of temperature trend edit it, you will see this weather Ljubljana ES is one of the data sources that we use to display this data. And there are other uh, widgets to show the different sort of data. All this has to be created manually using Grafana administrator uh, interface. Uh, the next video will show how this can be done with uh, proxying requests to Grafana through a custom proxy which does all this for you.